Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Today's Book of the Week comes from Rachel Schmidtlin with the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Get ready for thrills, chills this summer with this pick. Check it out. Well, I'm back here at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. It's time for our Book of the Week. They were talking about She is a Haunting. All right, so this one is currently on the New York Times bestseller list. Wonderful. Um, it's kind of fluctuating in there somewhere. It's a YA fiction title that is scary. Mm -hmm. It is a horror book. Ooh. And it is, it depends on what you find scary. Okay. So essentially, it's about a young woman named Jade. Jade is, um, she lives in the US, but she's from, like her family's from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. She has been estranged from her father for a very long time, and she just graduated high school. Um, her dad is back in Vietnam renovating a home and he's renovating it for someone. There's like an investor involved. Um, she's going to go with her sister to help him with this renovation. She's supposed to be working on the website. Um, now she doesn't really have a lot of love for her dad. Mm -hmm. Her sister wants there to be a relationship, mm -hmm. but okay. Jade's motive is to get um, money for college. <laughs> Of course. So, so, and she's pretty upfront about it. Um, but she's not entirely happy about the situation. In fact, she's just a very angry person. So she goes over there. Now, the thing about Vietnam is that um, it has a history of French colonization, and it's not great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this home is being renovated by her father, but the people who are investing in it are, they are white, and they are very interested in the French colonization in a romanticized way and Ooh, not okay. maybe about mm -hmm. like, the truth of the situation. So there are some weird feelings all around. Um, Jade gets there and strange things immediately start happening. Um, the refrigerator keeps turning itself off. She keeps finding dead bugs on windowsills. And these are all indications of an older home, but it's like as they're trying to renovate this house, it's like it's rotting from mm -hmm. the inside out. And then she starts seeing ghosts. Um, first she sees Cam, and then she sees Marion. And the relationship between her and these ghosts, and then the things she starts experiencing, including like sleep paralysis at night, which is terrifying. Um, now, the, the horror part really, it's not like as jump scary as yeah. you would expect. There's a lot of bugs. Ooh. There's a lot of maggots. Ooh, it makes you There's a, lot of, a little bit. It kind of, in different ways explores the idea of parasites mm -hmm. and so there's this weird relationship between her dad cooking the food and her not wanting to eat the food because the ghosts have told her not to eat the food and it's it seems kind of like surface kind of woo, you know kind of scary but like there's a lot of subtext in this book that has to go back to the history of this home and the idea of rotting stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's just. I'm, 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 I'm getting no, creeped I'm out so right sorry. here. I'm so sorry. The summertime is actually when our like scary books get the best circulation. So I don't see this book going anywhere anytime soon. I think you it's want going that to be something... campfire story? Yeah, it's going to be great. By July, every every YA person who likes scary books will probably read this book, especially since it's on the bestseller list. But. Definitely an interesting one. Also Definitely gross. <laughs> something to check out. So the the ghosts are like just legit characters in the book more yeah. so than just spooky ghosts. Yeah, and in some ways the home is mm -hmm. also this weird character in the book. Um, you kind of feel like it's alive. Yeah. It's, it's weird. <laughs> it's Ooh. weird and it does bring in the history of Vietnam, which is like a gorgeous country, but they also of course have that past yeah. and it's, just a fascinating read. <laughs> Sounds pretty exciting. A page turner then? Like, Absolutely. You're going to want to keep going. Happens next, despite yeah. all Just the bugs. Just be aware of the bugs. Bugs. Yeah. All right. Well, if you want to get a little spooked this summer, come on down to the Pico Shawnee County Public Library and check it out. She is a haunting. Chills already. Rachel, thank you so much. Thank you.